kidding. Jesus, it was a quick in Mexico. Okay, you want to do this? So yes. what's going to happen is Michelle's going to give me someone's name, but I'm just going to tell you my feelings about that particular quick. Oh, shut up. Yes, it's happening. And this is for you to adopt, because remember, you're my sisters. <laughs> Okay, Michelle, we can start. Okay, here we go. We're going to start with uh, Detox. Okay, what's amazing about going on this cruise, because we've gone many places that I never expected to go, and for the past week, it has been quite enjoyable. And everybody's like, oh, did you go to this ancient site? Did you go there? I was hanging with a relic all fucking day. The ruin that I was with was Detox. Detox! <laughs> you look at her. She's tattered. She's been around for a while. Many people have been in her. Many people have visited. And when you go to the buffet, everybody wants to take a fucking picture and go, can you believe that's still standing? So she... <laughs> She truly is a lovely individual, my sister. But she is what I would call greased to be. Tattered, old, many people have visited. And take a picture, people, because no one's going to fucking believe you saw that. Okay, what's next? Alaska. Alaska. Oh, okay, I've, yeah. I mean, I've loved Alaska, and I didn't really know Alaska, you know, because everybody thinks that we all hang out with one another, or we get a drag queen newsletter and know what everybody's doing, and we don't. But we do get to work with her. It's quite amazing, and I have to say, I thought she was amazingly smart, extremely talented, has a very bright future, and I don't want that to be based on her performances. I mean, because she left Sharon Needles. Okay, let's have oh. uh, Next. That's for you, girl. Okay, next. Latrice. <laughs> Latrice, now, Latrice Royale is my good time gal. I love a bitch like Latrice, and I really wish that I would have had her in New Orleans during a hurricane, because you know, if the boat goes down, you look for Latrice, because that's not being shady, it's not because she's big and she's gonna float. No, the advantage is about it is, of course, if you do jump on top of Latrice, Greenpeace will find you anywhere near this boat. <laughs> You know that bitch is better, and she's always higher than the rest of us. So that is the individual you want to find. Latrice, don't hit me, bitch. It's all good. It's all good. You know I love you. That's the truth. I'll buy you grape juice later. Okay. Oh, making her yeah. sound very butch. I know it does. Yeah. Jinxie! Oh, Jinx. Let's just talk about Jinx for a minute. <laughs> it's apparent white people that drink too much all of a sudden get orange hair, talk in spism like that, and then end up having a dress that's three feet off the ground. Listen, she's a lovely individual, but she's a lot like Fox News. You just go, mm, I don't believe it, but it's entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> time all week. She never left her cabin. It's so wonderful. Oh, my goodness, she never left her head. It's my sisters and everyone's fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> just not cool. Okay, next. Ben de la Crab. Ah, Ben de la Crab. Well, Ben de la Crab is one of my favorite people from season six. She's quite lovely. And I have to say, she's been an amazing sport this entire fucking trip because she's answered to shit that's not really suited for her and not really true. I mean, people have been calling her Ben de la Cream, Miss <laughs> Congeniality. Lies, lies, lies. She's done all of it and it's not really true. But I do love you and you're a good sport. She's my sister. <laughs> Miss Congeniality. <laughs> Next! Mariah Perez Balenciaga Gaga! Oh yeah, she's a good girl. I love Mariah. <laughs> Wait, this takes a minute. Hold on a second. Because I got it. Yeah. You know, the good thing I have to say, Mariah has been absolutely memorable on the ship, which we couldn't say about her on Drag Race. Which season? But anyway, she has found a way this trip to make herself memorable by wearing that lovely black and white printed mod vest that she's had on all the fucking week. Here. What did she fucking pack for? One ponytail holder, a cigarette, and that fucking macrame vest. Just sashay around. Holder. Hey. All she had. She had that and a fucking dream. What's next? 